All right, welcome back to T2's Barbecue YouTube channel. Um, today we're going to be doing uh, a little glaze on a ham. Uh, nothing, nothing super special, but we're just gonna we're gonna sweeten the ham a little bit. We're gonna uh, just try to make that that flavor come out of that bone and pop. We're using a bone-in uh, ham. Uh, that uh, we picked up at Sam's and so we're gonna mix up a little simple baste uh, a little apple juice got one cup of apple juice uh, some honey got a half cup of honey And then a, a packed a half cup of brown sugar, packed. And then you need just a little bit of salt to make it make the, the to balance the sweetness. I'm going to use a little Tony's, just because Tony's makes everything better. And then just. I'm going to give this a stir to start mixing it and then set it on the stove and warm it so that the, uh, the sugars will, will melt and, and come together. So we'll bring you back in just a few minutes and we'll start basting our ham. Alright guys, so we've got our, <clears throat> got our base warmed up. I'm going to put just a little bit in the bottom of my pan before I set my ham in. And then want to make sure that you pull the end cap off your ham. And there's different ways of doing it. You can you can put your ham in like this, but I like to do it like this so that as it cooks all of these little rings are going to open up and as we baste this thing that juice is going to get down into each slice so all we've got to do now I'm going to save this good juice that's on here and then we're just going to take the rest of our baste and we're just going to carefully pour it over and just let it run run over that ham I'm going to go ahead and separate it somewhat and sneak some in there to get it started and from there we're going to take this ham and we're gonna we're gonna go into the into the oven with it. I've got the oven preheated to 300. I'm just gonna warm it and start basting it. Uh, after about 30 minutes, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use a a baster, an injection baster, without the the needle to just just stick it in the in the edge draw that fluid draw that juice up like that and then you can just kind of ease it over the top of your ham just like that these things they do they work really well as a baster uh, I've never had good luck using the the bulb type because they get hot, they start to leak, the seal's bad, they don't hold. That won't let you down. So, I'm going to start working on this ham and we'll pull it, we'll uh, bring you guys back when we pull it out here in a little bit and let you see how we're coming. See you shortly. 
all right guys <clears throat> so we just pulled our ham out <clears throat> and this is what we've got I have uh, we've been basting every 25 to 30 minutes uh, been about an hour and a half I just pulled it out and I'm gonna give him one last little coat here and uh, you can see what I was telling you about how the the rings have started separating so all of this good apple juice is running down in there now just gonna let him sit and cool and uh, be ready to to cut him off the bone and make a sandwich so that's the way we do our hams um, hope you guys enjoyed the, the video give this a whirl I promise you you'll like it and we appreciate you taking the time to watch the video remember to to like subscribe and share click the little bell down below and until next time, you guys take care.